Okay, again, uh, we get around this because, of course, we have a constant here, and that's going to come out, okay? So what we can say is here that uh, cosine and sine are restricted because these sums can't have an absolute value greater than 1, and we can't find the b. However, what we can do is we can say that the tangent of b, and of course the tangent can be any real number, equals negative b2 plus a2 over a1 plus b1. Okay? So that b is an arctangent of this. Or the arctangent plus 180 degrees or plus pi radians, right? Then that's plus 180 degrees. If what? A1 plus B1 is negative. Our tangent is between 3 pi over 2, well, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees, right? Okay. So the arc tangent is always going to be an angle whose cosine is positive. Because again, to the right of the y-axis, the cosine is positive, the tangent is positive. Okay. If you're over here where the cosine is negative, it's not going to show up in the arc tangent. So you just do a unit circle picture and you see that if A1 plus B1 is negative, it means you've got to be between angle pi and angle 3 pi over 2, which is diametrically opposite to the angle you get here. That's just the usual use of the arc tangent when you're finding angles uh, when, when, when you know the sine and the cosine. Um, okay, so anyhow, there, there's your value of B. However, cosine of B won't necessarily equal A1 plus B1. The sine of B won't necessarily equal A2 minus B2. Because these things can be bigger than 1 or less than negative 1. Okay. Um, so, well, I need more board space.